Okay, well, we're wrapping up repairs on the uh, snowplow there. This showed up. This is a Dell XPS 210 with known issues. Kind of a hand-me-down. And uh, loaded the operating system, and it kept balking about the display driver stopped working, and it would just shut off and reboot. You'd get a couple of flashes and gone. Uh, it's an Intel machine, which is nice. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to add a little more RAM to it. And these three capacitors here are bulged, and this happens to be the display, the graphics driver chip. So we're going to throw that in there and give it back to the owner, and I think it'll be okay. So that's it for now. Let's take a look at it, the finished product. Okay, we moved the drives, the board, the wiring, the processor, and uh, the board just lifts out. So we'll set this aside, set the PC aside, and we found another culprit, this one right here. We'll change one, two, three, four. These I have to be careful of the height because there's a fan hard drive that goes above that. Okay, the first one I managed to desolder, but it's very difficult to desolder from these multi layer boards. So I've gone ahead and just taken the side cutters and cut cut the others out. And I remember I've done this before. I'll just solder to the, to the stubs of the other, the original capacitors. Here are the other ones cut. I'm just going to clean this up and I'm going to solder to those two legs. All right, and there are those remaining two right there. Okay, there you can see I have hole number two cleaned out. These are extremely difficult. Uh, I've been having success with using the solder, wetting it, and and sucking the hole out. The only problem is if there's a lead in the way. Okay, right, that's number two. Okay, it's number three, and I'm going to try and show you what I'm doing. I'm going to set the camera down, but I don't know what you'll get out of this. I'm just going to... Uh, Heat it with some solder here and attempt to suck it while it's wet. I'll put a little little ball there. Get our solder sucker. I've marked the board where it's got to come up and just. I think there are leads in these holes, so these leads have to come out. But the solder sucker will not suck the leads out. Which I take that back, I think on one it did. Extremely difficult to get these out of here. Working on three and four. I'm working on three and four over on the right there. Not quite yet. Can't overdo it either. Okay, obviously I still have the leads here, so I'm going to take my needle nose and heat and pull those out of there. Okay, there are our leads and uh, our clean holes. I don't know if you can see that or not, but okay, there's a shot. I know I've said this on other videos, and I may not have done it in this or the previous videos, but scrape your leads on these capacitors with an X-Acto. Give them some nice clean surface, because uh, they can be oxidized and just not stick very well. Okay, there we are with the new capacitors installed, and before I hit them with the solder, I hope I make the height requirement there. Because these are... These are 6 volt caps. I've put 16. It's all we had on hand. So The tallest cap is right there, so we, we clear that. So in any event, check. I always recommend check your polarity, and you know what? Check it again, and maybe even a third time to make sure you have all the polarities correct. Check them, and check them again. And we can't forget to apply a little bit of heat sink compound back on our processor here. I don't have very much left, but I'm going to have to do. I'll get what I can out of this tube and smear it around there. All right, chassis back, our chassis here, our PC board's back in. Put some heat sink compound on the processor. We'll attach all the cables. And hopefully I didn't see any more caps. I don't see any more bulge caps. And 
we've made the clearance for these two right there above the video and uh, necessarily a, I think this is a 10 year old 2006 the date 10 year old uh, desktop computer is hardly worth repairing but it is Intel a uh, processor and uh, it was running okay they just got another one because it kept shutting down and uh, I'm not saying all the components on here are ready for uh, Windows 10 or as they call it NSA 10 but uh, it'll run 7 just fine it had XP on it it was made for Vista it'll run 7 just fine needs a little more memory alright everybody's back and we cleared the capacitors cleared the uh, fan hard drive assembly so let's fire it up see if it uh, stays at the desktop without rebooting for 10 minutes Okay, now the moment of truth here. We'll power it on. I got nothing. Okay, take two. I believe our control panel cable was not seated properly. It always did this. What we have to do is see if it gets to the desktop. Okay, so I'll pause here. It will boot. If it stays at the desktop, yeah, we know. We know the battery's dead. If this stays at the desktop without flashing, going berserky for like five minutes, uh, I'm gonna call this done. It would come up in safe mode okay, but you couldn't do anything in safe mode, and uh, we were just chasing your tail. That's pretty nice. Oh, it's just installing the whatever's here. Okay, if this stays up, yeah, just not load, who cares? Oh, see, okay. I'm not formatting anything. Time. Let this reboot. We'll get the driver disk for the Wi-Fi. This comes up incredibly fast. Um, it's working pretty good. I'll just go to Device Manager and install this. I don't want all the utilities and everything. And we'll go here. And we go manage, device manager. We want the wireless. And yeah, we'll update the driver. And we'll browse. And we'll go over to the CD, DVD, whatever the heck it is. Oh, where are you up here? Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Computer. D. USB. Oh, please. I don't know if this is it or what. Uh, 8187. Uh, Vista, I think we're 32 here, so. Do Vista x86. See if it likes it. This is only a 32 bit OS we put on here. And it likes it. And it makes the noise. We have successfully updated our driver and we have our little antenna thing down here showing our network. So let's get online. Connect. Put our password in. And we are. We'll do a homey network, public network. I always choose public. I don't know why. I don't like home. And let's close that. Go to the interweb. I like Firefox, although it's probably not on here, and this thing has a million updates to do. You go to Microsoft, I'm happy. Beautiful. I'll call this done because it hasn't flipped out yet. Okay, so that's the repair of the Dell, whatever the heck this thing is. XPS210.